In the tradition of the grand old motor racing circuits like Spa and the original Nürburgring, our own Mount Panorama has always had that special something. Even well before it became a major national sporting event, the hillside road course gave all variety of motorsport competitors and enthusiasts an enormous amount of pleasure. Built in the 1930s for unemployment relief, the Mount Panorama Scenic Drive and Racetrack has been the location for motorsporting personalities, highs, lows and above all drama. And today, the event comes of age. Staging the eighth round of the world title signifies the arrival of our beloved race on the international scene. And to accommodate the event, a total of five million dollars has been invested for the most dramatic physical and commercial changes in its history. We had to bring the race from uh, early 80s or late 70s if you like, through to uh, late 80s and bring it in line with the rest of uh, the world in respect of international sport. So this facility and uh, the facilities around the circuit now indicate that uh, the James Hardy 1000 and the Mount Panorama can host any international race that's required. To bring the Mount Panorama course up to international standards, a number of new features have been incorporated. Grateful assistance to the tune of $750,000 was injected by the state and federal governments, and the Bathurst City Council set out on an eight-month revamp project. The work entailed construction of protective concrete walls, widening the grass verges, upgrading sand traps and the installation of debris fencing in the traditional mountain hotspots. But the most noticeable outward feature change is this. It's the deviation in Conrod Strait called Caltex Chase. The $300,000 alteration adds 40 metres to the track length, theoretically slows lap times, solves safety concerns raised by the FIA following the Bergman incident last year, and adds a dynamic new component to the track. We had a feast for inspection in November last year, and again in January this year, and uh, then we had to go, and because we couldn't start before Easter, um, but of course we've had to uh, cater for the needs of, uh, of, of the residents up there, we've had to talk to them, we've had to uh, comply with the FISA requirements, we've had to look at the needs of spectators, both, uh, both uh, for now and in the future, and, uh, and of course uh, most importantly is the safety requirements, and uh, in carrying out those safety improvements, I think the main thing is that we, we didn't change the character of Mount Panorama. Coupled with these changes, there's been a $1.7 million redevelopment on Pitt Strait. 55 first-class pit bay and garage facilities have been built to house the world's most professional touring car teams. Incorporated in the three-storey complex, there's also 23 VIP corporate suites, administration facilities and a plush new media centre. It's uh, an improvement. A lot of the people are still, the Europeans, are still uh, shaking to the socks at the place around the top, but it's uh, a drastic improvement I think. In line with sport in the 80s, the emphasis is on greater convenience for spectators and participants. Battling the mountain no longer means brushes with gum trees, letterboxes and sheer drops. As for the chicane, if, if we want to call it that, I wish it was never there. And um, we have circuits all around the world now, due to accidents, unfortunately they are, with chicanes on. They ruined Hockenheim, they ruined Monza, um, they ruined the Osterreich ring, and how many more will we have? And we'll get down to a situation where we'll have thousands of Amaroos to race on and they're not very exciting. I've had some uh, conversations with other drivers and they all seem to think that uh, they can't see in a lot of spots. But to be honest, in motor racing, you're never looking for the views. You're looking for the next corner. And I think it's quite OK. As far as I'm concerned, I'm very happy with it. Our wonderful memories of Mount Panorama as it used to be now give way to a new era, a future even more exciting.